Am I close enough to the camera? Probably, right? Hello everyone, Curtis from The Pitch Control here and today I'm going to be doing another record collection video for you guys. I have been doing a few different videos recently, I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Also I've been pretty ill so I'm just stuck at home, I haven't really been going out of the house or anything. So all my videos are from home, I haven't been able to do any vlogs or anything just because yeah I'm not feeling too good. I'm going to go straight in there with the first record. So to start off we've got another Stone record and I'm beginning to think I've got way too many Stone records for a straight edge kid. But the first record is Bongzilla and this is Gateway. This is based around drugs, obviously, like a gateway drug and that being weed. On the front cover here, you got the devil smoking a bong with like the gates here. Obviously, the devil smoking weed. It's weird, I've got more than one record that I know of where the devil is smoking weed on the record. Standard. This record is absolutely incredible. The band are from Wisconsin. They're sort of like Acid King or Weed Eater or Sleep. Very, very riffy, very, very muddy sort of riffs. And they don't have many vocals, but when they do, the vocal's very scratchy and very... I don't know why I just did that. On the inside, you've got a little bit... Oh, I've never even seen that before, I don't think. The devil with two bongs there, obviously. And we've got the lyrics on the back. I'll read you out some lyrics, shall I? Stone a pig. And the lyrics are, here we go down to the open road. We just want to get stoned. There's weed awaiting. California, we're going to get stoned. Obviously is on green. And I bought this at a record fair. And I remember trying to bargain the price down, but the matey wasn't having it. Lovely inserts and another stoner record for the collection. So these guys are also from Wisconsin, which is pretty weird. And this is... Bonnie Vare. Bonnie Vare is a French saying which means good winter and this record is for Emma forever ago and I don't know what to say about this record really I mean I've listened to it for as long as it came out and I just listened to it on iTunes or something this record is probably one of my favorite records in my whole collection definitely one of my favorite folk records you know like traditional folk records some amazing tracks on there you've got songs like Flume, Lump Sum, Skinny Love obviously then you've got for Emma and RE stacks. Really beautiful insert there with a nice little picture at the bottom and all the lyrics as well. He basically escaped for three months and it was super cold and he was very ill and he'd just broken up with his girlfriend and he recorded this album. So you can definitely hear that in the music. It's very, very dark and it's super solemn, you know. The second one we got by Bonnie Vare is Blood Bank and this has got one of my favourite songs by Bonnie Vare on there, which is Blood Bank and the lyrics are just absolutely incredible. Front cover, on the inside, you've got the lyrics. Another little insert, 12 inch insert there. So when listening to Bonnie Vare, it actually led me onto another band, which was The Antlers, which I've definitely mentioned in another video, which I'll show you right there. I will link that below as well. Antlers being another band that were really, really emotional and very, very Bonnie Vare-ish. That's not a word. But yeah, next record is by Bonnie Bear as well. This one is just self-titled. Really, really love the front cover for this. Sort of like a painting. And I'm guessing, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing that this is the log cabin right here. Open it up there for you. Got another little bit of artwork here and a little bit of information on this side. And if I pull out this bit, if I remember rightly, I've got a 12 inch artwork of the front cover. It's also got, which I found really incredible, a little book you can see there. Camera's actually focusing for once. It's basically got like all of the lyrics for every single song. This was a very, very different style of music for Bonnie Bear. This was a whole band sounding thing. It was a lot more fuller, had a lot more piano, a lot more woodwinds and drums. It was definitely a lot bigger. I personally prefer the songs where he was alone, just playing on that like really old guitar of his. It has that really sort of woody sound to it and very, very emotional. I'm not saying that I don't like this album. I really love this album. And I listen to this album every every single night when I went traveling before I went to sleep. Really, really lovely record. And since this album, he hasn't released anything. I know he did a song for a movie recently. I can't remember what movie that is. If I can remember it, I'll link it there. Yeah, apart from that, I haven't really heard of anything. So I know he did vocals for another band and he did a couple of videos on YouTube. But apart from that, this is the one. Go and check it out. I'm sure everyone knows Bon Iver by now. So the next two records are not from me. These two are from my wife. And I got onto this act because of my wife. Many, many bands have been introduced to me by her. And this is Bonnie Prince Billy. This one is The Letting Go. Really, really beautiful artwork on this. Beautiful coastal picture there. I love how Bonnie Prince Billy is always written in lowercase as well. On the inside, 
you've got really beautiful dust cover, nicely painted. So Bonnie Prince Billy is a really, really solemn sounding, dark, very emotional DIY folk act by a guy called Will. And originally it was called Palace and they named themselves many, many different things from Palace Music, Palace Sounds, Palace Brothers and just Palace. Then they moved on to naming themselves Bonnie Prince Billy when he sort of, you know, developed his sound a little bit more. This is one of the records that I listened to the first time. The second and most favorite album of mine from Bonnie Prince Billy, I See Darkness. And this is absolutely incredible. And when I first listened to this, I was blown away. This is just such an incredible album. I'm just gonna take the insert out so you guys can see it because the insert is really beautiful, got some nice illustrations there. And on the back as well, nice set of illustrations. When I first listened to Bonnie Prince Billy, I realized that his music is really, really based around just that, you know, like he's not bothered about image or he's not bothered about getting himself out there. It's just purely about the music. You can definitely hear that. It's very self-focused and very original and very dark. And that's why I love Bonnie Prince Billy. If you haven't heard I See Darkness by Bonnie Prince Billy, I would thoroughly recommend it. So the next record we got is a little bit different. I'm sure I've mentioned this guy before and many of the people that are based in this album I've definitely mentioned before. This is Boyd Vice and Friends, Music, Martinis and Misanthropy. I'm just gonna take this out so you guys can see it. I really hate picture discs, guys. I can't tell you how much I dislike picture discs, but I have got a few, mainly because they look pretty cool, but they sound terrible. Here's the back. This mate you right here is well good at playing music. <laughs> Sort of like a spoken word poetry album with many, many people from the neo-folk scene joining in. I listened to this album the first time when it was online and I listened to it through Scorpion Wind. I was listening to Death in June that led me onto Scorpion Wind, which led me onto Boyd Rice and Friends. Boyd Rice and Friends is very similar to Scorpion Wind and very similar to Death in June because it has got Douglas right here from Death in June playing guitar on it. It's also got people from Blood Axis, people from Strawberry Switchblade and obviously Boyd from Non. It's got such a wide array of people that are very involved within the neo-folk scene. It just delves into that really dark poetic style of Boyd Rice where he talks a lot about this Darwinism and a lot about how stronger people will survive and the wink will die off. And if you're into yeah Death in June or if you're into Blood Axis, if you're into Boyd or Non then you'll definitely be into this. And on the back here you've just got the very very simple artwork just comes in a plastic sheet like this with the song titles. Next record we got for you guys is Boyd Vice as well. This is The Way I Feel. This record involves so many artists. I was trying to write them all down and try and remember them for you guys so I could tell you. But first things first, it's another picture disc. I fucking hate picture discs. They're terrible, but it's got a picture of Boyd on the front there. Pretty strange artwork to be fair, really weird. And on the back, some matey hanging. I can read it from the back here, so that's amazing. I bought this record from Heaven Street Records in New York. So if you haven't checked out Heaven Street Records, you really, really should if you're into neo-folk and punk and black metal. This is such an incredible album. Again, very, very poetic, spoken word, neo-folk based album. And I'm gonna read you some of the people that are involved on the back because it's, I just can't remember how many people are in this. You've got Douglas P from Death and June, John Murphy from Death and June, and they've put it in brackets Scorpion Wind because that is obviously Scorpion Wind, those three together. You've got David Tibet on there, people from Coil. You've got so many people on here. Luftwaffe as well, which is now Et Nahil. You guys may know Et Nahil from previous videos. I'll put their logo here and link a little video or something so you guys can see what it looks like. But that's the guy from Luftwaffe and he is on track seven, Cross of Lorraine. Definitely check this out if you're into any of those bands. Definitely check out this record. This is The Way I Feel by Boyd Weiss. Next record we got for you guys is called Obey. It's by Brain Bombs. This is Ed Gain on the front, if anyone doesn't know that, the serial killer Ed Gain. From Sweden, very, very noisy, very repetitive, very, very dark and very controversial lyrically. They use just the most disgusting lyrics, but yeah, it's very, very dark, very, very dark. A lot of people know this because it's so controversial and these band members, or a couple of the band members from this band, Brain Bombs, went on to form Totalitar. On the back, you got the song titles there and this one came on red. It formed in like mid eighties and for a lot of people that are into that really horrible noise rock sound that's just the same riff for the whole entire song with these sort of really just shouty vocals of abuse, then you'll definitely be into Brain Bombs. It's Brain Bombs Obey, go and check it out. Last record, and this is gonna be one of my favorite records from 2015, this is Broken Crossed Through Light Tonight. If you guys are into Gizm, or if you guys are into Integrity, you will love Broken Cross. 
This is like the most raw black metal metallic hardcore you will ever hear. The front cover was designed by Dwid, the singer from Integrity. On the back here, you've got the song titles and I'm just gonna open it up so you guys can see it because there's a little thing inside. You get this little book and this is the artwork on the front cover. As you open it up, you've got another bits of artwork on there. Really, really cool. And this is, I guess this is designed by Dwid as well and some lyrics on there. Comes on white stamped as well with number 42 and a little stamp in the corner there from the record label as well comes with a little patch as well a little broken cross patch there i have to put that on something so much solos in there he's had two seven inches out before this one and they were on holy terror records and another record label which i can't remember they're so so incredible and they're one of my favorite bands from this year this is one of my favorite records from 2015 and if you're into that very sort of dark death metal iron maiden riffage you'll definitely be into broken cross if you guys have any recommendations for me based on the records that i've showed you today comment below and let me know don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like the video and subscribe and share it all over the place and i'll see you next time cheers mm -hmm.